Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Rooftop, the home of good news worth shouting about. That's right, we're here to provide you with a dose of positive news, covering stories that matter and campaigns that are making a real difference to people's lives. I'm Tom York, and this is episode two of The Rooftop TV. Now, don't get me wrong, we're not living with our head in the clouds here at The Rooftop. We know it's a troubling time for everyone, but we're here to lift everyone's spirits by shining a spotlight on some of the amazing work being done by charities, campaigners and social enterprises, especially so in the current circumstances that are affecting all of us. So I'm joined again today by the delightful Simon Francis, founder and editor of The Rooftop, and Simon's here to give us a rundown of the top stories that we've covered this week. Welcome, Simon, or welcome back, should I say. Thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? Thanks, Tom. Um, all good here. And um, yeah, thank you um, to everyone who watched uh, last week's first episode. Um, we had over 10,000 views of the, the film across YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. So um, thank you so much um, to people for, for tuning in and uh, hope you stick with us. Um, so the first story uh, I wanted to cover today um, is, is completely linked to the coronavirus um, and pandemic at the moment. Um, you know, we've all heard in the mainstream news just how difficult things are on the front line, especially um, in care homes and um, the, the hard work that people are doing, um, sometimes without the right PPE. Um, but, you know, we wanted to this week sort of shine a spotlight on, on one group of care homes in Sheffield who are just, you know, kind of still trying to put a smile on the faces of their residents. Um, they've been doing kind of makeovers, they've done um, personalised sing-alongs, um, they've even been dancing for the, for the patients. You know, anything really to sort of try and make the lives of people who are care in the care homes um, as as normal um, as it possibly can be. So I think, you know, we all owe everyone in the NHS and care homes and the rest of the key workers, you know, a huge amount of thanks. But uh, we thought we'd show you a little clip of uh, some of the care workers from the Palmsdrow Healthcare um, Homes in Sheffield. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Well, I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way is my girl. Talking about my Oh, that's really lovely. Really nice to see. Thanks, Simon. Um, what's what's next? So next is still linked into the current um, uh, crisis and uh, kind of the fact that people are obviously spending a lot more time at home. And um, a group have put, come together to uh, allow people to all sing together. Um, this is uh, the Inspire Me group, and um, they have uh, online singing lessons and an online choir every Thursday between six and seven. So you can check out um, their website, Inspire Me, or you can check out the story on the rooftop for more information on how to get involved in that. That's great. And I know there's lots of different organizations doing online choirs there's another group called shared harmonies which i think we also mentioned the story there as well and of course it's uh, bbc's great british sing-along which is also happening every week um so it's across all of their national radio stations um and yesterday's episode was dedicated to charity workers that are doing all of their amazing work across the uk so um really good um and what's next simon uh, so next up is, uh, is you know, kind of we can't move away from the fact that there are still kind of, you know, difficult times for people, um, but there are a lot of really great organisations, social enterprises, charities, community groups that are doing some great work in terms of trying to help people through the, these tough times. And, and one topic that we've covered a lot on the rooftop is around period poverty, um, where people don't have enough money to even be able to afford you know, basic sanitary uh, towels and equipment for, for women and um, and the um, there's a couple of groups that, that do a lot of amazing work in this area and then one um, bloody good period 
um, have just opened a kind of a, a, a collection point at Alexander Palace in London, so a massive, massive place. Um, they're also working in areas like Southampton, uh, Hull, Newcastle and Cardiff in order to make sure that people don't have to go about basic essentials. Um, as I say, we've covered this a lot in the past and there's a lot of really uh, exciting work being done by, by social enterprises such as Hey Girls. Um, they are based up in, in Scotland and, and they've done a lot of work in the past around um, working with football clubs like Hibernian to uh, kind of get period um, products out to people who attend those games and, and who need them. And, and, you know, so do check out some of the amazing causes that are, are, are there to sort of help people through um, period poverty. There's a lot of groups doing a lot of brilliant work and they deserve our, our recognition. That's great, Simon. Um, really, really important work. Um, and any, anything else? Yeah, so last kind of, uh, we've got a couple more stories, but one more is just around um, another really important part of people's education um, that is being you know, threatened by the current crisis, and that's learning outside the classroom. Um, this is something that, you know, kind of a, a lot of us will remember from, from our school days and just how important it was to get outside of the classroom and, and do some learning. And obviously, you know, we've, we've heard a lot about parents or doing this with their own kids and, and trying to sort of recreate those experiences. But for those uh, kids uh, who, whose parents are key workers, of course, they're, they're still having to go to, to schools. But one, uh, one organisation down in Hampshire, um, they uh, still staged um, some Easter um, activities for the children of key workers so that they could still go outside and still kind of, you know, at, at an appropriate socially distanced, I'm sure, um, kind of regime, uh, enjoy some, some learning outside the classroom. So, you know, kind of signs that things are, you know, are still happening out there and there is normality uh, in amongst the, the problems that we're facing every day. That's really encouraging. Yeah, really, really positive there. Um, so what other stories do you have for well, us? <laughs> lastly, uh, just a bit of um, shameless self-promotion uh, for the rooftop. Um, uh, and, and, you know, this is, of course, we know that people are being crying out for more positive news. That's one of the reasons why we launched this, this TV show. Um, but just in general terms, um, the rooftop now has more than 50,000 uh, Facebook fans. Um, the amount of traffic to viewing all of our content is up by 184%. Uh, since the start of the, the crisis. So thank you to everyone who has been sharing our content. Please continue to do so. Please spread the word about the rooftop. Let's try and ensure that everyone has a daily dose of, of positive news. That's fantastic, Simon. Um, really happy to hear that, obviously. And hopefully people watching this video will uh, be inspired to share more news with us, as you say. Can you give us a taster of what you'll be working on next week? Yeah, uh, so a couple of uh, stories next week um, coming up. One, we're looking at um, how um, kind of the coronavirus is affecting rural community groups. So we've got a nice story from um, some community groups down in Dumfries and Galloway. Um, we've got a, a, an interesting story about um, uh, the mental health of construction workers during coronavirus, uh, which is really fascinating and some, some really interesting work been going on to try and help that particular group which is perhaps a group that you might not associate with needing uh, mental health support but but clearly does at the moment more than ever so uh, a couple of really nice stories and obviously um we'll be hoping to hear from from your set from the viewers uh, so if people have got stories they want to add in then please do send them through to editor at the rooftop dot news that's editor at the rooftop dot news that's fantastic um, thanks, Simon. Uh, look forward to hearing more about all of those stories next week. Um, so that's it from us for this week. Um, I'm Tom York. He's Simon Francis. And this is The Rooftop, the home of good news worth shouting about. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.